Mendy takes the flag and he takes the bronze. Another brilliant indoor performance by the American. Off to see his family. We've seen her, well, I presume it's his family. And it's some uh, exuberant super fans, but there's a lot of Greek flags and t shirts with his face on up there. <laughs> they look even more excited than he is. There's a few lines behind. Look at them all coming down. Tentoglu. How's your, how's your Greek, Rob? What's the rest of it say? Not overly good. I did do ancient Greek for a year, but I found it too hard. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure they're going to have a massive party tonight. Friday night in Belgrade with this group could be very lively indeed. He's, he's becoming a very, very hard athlete to beat, isn't he? Montler should be over the moon with that silver so often. He produces something very special towards the end of a competition, be it the Diamond League or the World Outdoor or Indoor Stage. He's clearly over the moon with a national indoor record, soaring his way to the silver and in so doing, relegating poor old Jarian Lawson down to fourth again. Dendi, another medal, but Tentoglu is developing the attitude and the performance of a born champion. He's a really exciting athlete. Always enjoy watching him, watching him jump. Greece do this in the technical events, don't they? They churn out these medalists. They really know what they're doing. Tentoglu doing really well there. Enjoyed Montner's giant flag when he was trying to I'm trying to match Oriol Dongmo with her Portuguese flag. Who's got the biggest flag out there? I think it still goes to Portugal. Yeah, only just, although Montless isn't too far behind. Absolutely colossal. A couple of parachutes down there. The Olympic champion becomes the world indoor champion, Miltiades Tentoglu. Never threatened, Tobias Montler coming through with a massive 8.38 national indoor record in the final round. And Marquis Dendi bronze again, the same position in which he finished four years ago in Birmingham.